It was like World War Three. Um, it was just constant fighting, constant battles, um, because charities just really didn't understand me or really understand my condition. I can imagine it being very, very difficult, not knowing where to go, who to turn to. Without the directory, life would be harder. It's already, it's not a walk in the park, so it would be a, a lot harder without the directory. This is really where the autism directory is so, so different. They genuinely care about the clients um, and they have a real understanding. They're willing to think outside of the box and that's what made um, you know, the real difference. I'm Nadine Honeybone. I am the founder and CEO of the Autism Directory Charity. Uh, we founded it um, back in 2010 and it was really as a result of having a diagnosis for my own son when he was two. Tommy was born in December 2004. Um, he, was, uh, he was an IVF baby, so very much a wanted little boy. Um, and he was developing normally, hitting all his milestones like babies do, crawling, uh, walking, and even talking. Um, and it was about 15 months um, old when all of a sudden we realized that he'd lost the words that he started to gain and he started to withdraw a little bit of himself. There wasn't, you know, it, was, it was other people that were noticing it as well, you know, not just me. It was, uh, you know, why isn't he saying Bob the Builder anymore? And it, it was difficult to sort of engage with him in that, in that moment. So we, we did the usual, you know, concerned parents went to the GP, GP referred us to CAMS, and, and within 15 minutes of our CAMS appointment, we had a diagnosis of autism. given um, the um, little card that just said uh, autism on it and a little flyer um, I'm, I was left to my own devices really as to what on earth it was I heard of the word didn't really know what it meant um, what on earth was autism and where do you go for help now It's a massive, important kind of step for a parent to find someone like Autism Directory because it takes some of the pressure off and some of the weight off. That's why the Autism Directory is really important because it collates services and businesses and it's like a one-stop shop for these parents that are already fumbling around in the dark um, and, it, and, it, and it gives them, it sheds light and it, sh and it gives them, you know, it's it clearly signposts services and businesses and ways forward. We are giving voices to those who are less recognised in the community. Then when we have the listen to their story from where they started from and where they are and be able to you know, get the doors open for themselves and do things that they actually think they won't be able to do, that support actually makes me feel satisfying this job role. What we've seen from history is that people that have autism actually have a um, strong passion for what they like to do. So it's actually a bonus to any organisation that will be able to take him on board. They've helped me like, gain work experience before I can like, talk to anybody. I was really shy, but Will and Nadine have helped me gain that confidence and boost my confidence up to a really good level. It starts off as a much smaller dream and an idea. So originally I never thought about where it would get to, but as I met the charity, the Autism Directory, the things they've done for me, I still can't comprehend. I still can't believe I'm here just about to start running. I then had a loyalty to them, you know? I realised now there is amazing people in the world. I don't even know so many strangers that have come to help me, so that took on a meaning. But the main thing was, I didn't realise my story was going to be inspiring to people. I didn't realise it was going to help people. The people have come to me and said what I'm doing is amazing. I've helped them deal with their difficulties and things. That's when I've realised my story is important and it has to be told. Because it, I spent so many years keeping this to myself. My whole family didn't know. And that just made my struggles worse. So getting it off my chest was amazing for me. But knowing I could help other people and hopefully help them go f through the transition I did is that's, that beats a lot of the other motives I have for the charity. I think what the charity is doing is incredible. 
and I think that they are going a great distance to making society more understanding and aware of uh, people uh, with autism. Yeah, I just see it getting stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger. And I, you know, I believe that we have more passion than any other charity or company, and we have the insight as well. And I think that just, and especially with Nadine, at, you know, the helm of the boat, and yeah, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. And even if you're just reaching out to um, the autism directory, you are making those steps. You're making those first steps, and and what you'll find at the end of the phone is support and help. Well, obviously what I'd love to see is what we've achieved in South Wales to be duplicated across the country. We've got a great fundraising team here um, and we've got great clients that we work with here um, and a community role here but what we'd like to do is be able to duplicate that um, around the country where our teams are right now.